kind of uh, react to this. Um, we've seen Leonard at times get a little frustrated when he saw some uh, – some some darts out of somebody that uh, he maybe didn't see that coming. Now he should not have that reaction at all. By the time we get to the uh, uh, to the to the finals of this event, um, but it is something that we've seen in the past. Um, we've seen a hundred and one plus average for JT, yes. who took out. Uh, I guess prior to this, what we would have called the uh, the hottest player um, this weekend on, in Jason Brandon. And he absolutely ran over Daryl Christie in the semifinal. Absolutely. So, absolutely intrigued to see where this goes. I'm done with predictions. I just want to sit back, eat my popcorn, <laughs> and watch this match. And for those of you at home, he really does have popcorn in front of him. Uh, you would say, if you did not know JT Davis and the accomplishments he's had today, this would almost be like a little bit of a David versus Goliath finale. However, because of how well and how hot he has played today, this really is anyone's to win. Well, and, and uh, I don't know if it's unlucky. I don't, I don't know what the, the proper word is. But to come up against a, uh, a player like Soldier, who has the firepower to, to fight against uh, the level that JT has played at today yep. um, is, uh, is, is, is going to be telling here. Um, plus, with with Leonard and being comfortable in these finals, he's uh, um, he there's there's no chance of of underperforming in terms of um, uh, just nervous about the situation. He's been here, done this, literally has the shirt on. Um, One hundred and forty. He'll 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 produce, and it'll be to, to JT to match him. Which. You have said many times JT has done a very good job of matching his opponent. So we very well could ha see our highest average match of the entire weekend in this one, depending on how both players perform out the gates. No pun intended. Yeah, no. <laughs> Early doors is uh, is going to be telling here for uh, um, for who can settle in and, and pick off some legs. And while JT has answered the, the call of – whether or not, you know, he has answered the bell enough, he's going to have to do it one more time. Yes, darts is very much a uh, what have you done for me lately uh, sport. So, um, and, and I can promise you that Gates does not care at all no. what, uh, what JT Davis has done today. He's, uh, he's going to be the one looking to, uh, uh, to take him out here. He'll come back with 64, and he'll have six at it with JT on the 165, which was not a real miscounting error. He just missed the second dart and couldn't do anything but leave a bogey finish. 64 here, and if he doesn't hit this, the 80 for JT, but double eight. That was easy. Cleaning his whistle. Mwah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, j just how you draw it up, break a throw in the first leg. And uh, again, I keep talking about it, but how is JT going to respond? Come on, Gata, with a <laughs> one three five from Leonard Gates. Because Leonard has come out swinging. JT has also won some matches where he has taken a couple hits early in the match and come back to. Rattle off four or five in a row. He did that exact thing in the U.S. Darts Masters qualifier in the final against Elliott Milk. And you see Leonard at 107.36. That's, of course, just talking about the 14 dart break. But he has not slowed down very much. Big 140 there from JT, though. Good back to, to back, see. two troubles. Good to see. He's responding. Not a good last start. Miscount. Yeah. And you see the shake of the head. He realizes. Happens less and less, but it still does happen. Oh, and, and a poor third from JT. Not going to leave him an out. So no harm done on the miscount for Soldier. He will still have a return. But almost a little bit unlucky from JT that kissed off the flight into the five. Might have been a bit about placing the dart more than throwing it with the 
oomph he needed. And this might be the first time we've seen him not set up very well. Yeah, sloppy turn. 36. He is making these two-dart combinations look simplistic. Uh, just, just clean as a whistle. Uh, exactly what you want to do. Muy bonito. Because uh, JT Davis is going to be standing behind you waiting for an outside chance. Um, in, the, in the last leg, he was sitting on 80. Pretty straightforward finish himself, and uh, and Gates isn't even messing around. It's not you're not even getting the oh I could, and then the the third dart goes in, just smack smack, two darts. Well, if JT does happen to win this final, it will be our third first time winner in our three events this weekend. How cool would that be as a storyline? Well, that would, that'd be awesome. I mean, uh, again, we continue to talk about what the CDC as a as a as a group has done uh, by raising the standard of North American darts and giving these players an outlet to play at this level, and to to see three more um, come up <laughs> with the the big shoulder <laughs> push there from from Leonard uh, would would be uh, would be great. I, I would only. Yeah, I would I would love to see it. I mean, Alex Spellman, you can put an asterisk next to well, him. Well, for sure. But, but, uh, but still still a good W. Well, Leonard, a chance to put a little bit of pressure on JT. He's sitting at 127. And again, shoulders into the treble 19. That just might be his treble 19 throw. Yeah. <laughs> so 127. Can't oh. go now. Uh-oh. 31. Yeah, uses the bull. I don't mind it. Guaranteed himself a two-dart combination. He will be back for it. And now he's got to do something like clean it up as easily as Leonard has shown so far. Yeah, and that that's that's for two reasons. He wants to show Leonard, hey, anything you can do, I can do too. And B, he wants to know that he can do whatever Leonard can do. And he did this earlier. Oh, he tried the double-double oh, again. He hit it earlier on 96 and just pulled the last dart inside. I forgot all about that until I saw the double-18 go in. And again, this two-dart combination goes in two darts. Leonard Gates scoring and finishing right now is beautiful. You are, you are seeing a veteran at work here on the dartboard a smooth operator knows that uh he's got an opportunity you can definitely tell that my man has been at the board mm -hmm. continuing to work um in that downtime his uh, uh jt's bracket was uh quite a bit behind honestly yep. so um clearly stayed warm and uh and looking to run run jt over and i know in a lot of tournaments that are open to the public that Leonard plays in. He sometimes gets some slack with just how focused he he is in the, on a practice board or warming up. You know, he if you know Leonard, you don't bother him when he is warming up to play a match. Those are a lot of times where, you know, you hear some of those little stories and whatnot, but it's because he loves the intense focus of darts. He knows he needs to do it. And he obviously is the best person to have an hour and 15 minute wait because you know that focus isn't going to go away. Doesn't need to go for it. He might. He did. <laughs> yeah, he I like it. He doesn't need yeah. to, but he's uh, he, he's he's trying to uh, he's trying to show off now. He he knows he's throwing well. He's going to be under some pressure though. Now this is where it this could hold whole thing could change if he doesn't do this in the two dart combination, but. If JT takes out this 135, we are not going to like the fact that he shot at the bull on dart three. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see his uh, his reaction, but this is still a big, big finish. Double bulls in there, so trip 15, perhaps for tops. Oh, and wayward. So first... Kind of uh, gitchy finishing from Leonard. Needs to still find it. 
Does. Oh, comes over the top, drops it in. That's a great find. And he is up 4 nothing in this final. Rolling. JT has had his opportunities, and he can still turn on something special here to get back into this. But it's hard to do when you're down 4 nothing against Soldier. Well, and again, the, the standard that, that Soldier's playing now. We yep. saw JT put in the, the ton plus against Jason Brandon in a match that he had to do it in. Um, and here he's just not quite matching Soldier dart for dart even coming down the board. So he's he's uh, the chances that he's getting are outside. And we do have to say this. It's been a very long day for JT Davis. <laughs> it has. He's it has. Quite a few darts. But as a dart player, you want long days. That's, yes, you do. That's how it's supposed to work. 45. Let's put it this way. He's going to enjoy this long day for a long time. No matter what happens in the next. Well, and how cool is it that he's going to see the dividends of uh, of this long day in uh, in just three short weeks? Yeah, there's not much of a wait, which is kind of nice. No. Yeah, those PDC guys, they got announced a long time. They've had to wait for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mo most likely it's going to affect them. Their preparation, uh, I don't know if they can stay as focused. Gates again against the throw. A big 140 leaves 54 after 12 darts. Just throwing a phenomenal standard right now. Yeah, he just he looks so likely with every dart. If I, if I can... Uh, Stowe-esque in his uh, match against Bagish. Oh, yeah. In the first event. Yeah, that semifinal was something else. 140 was an outside shot for him. Going to try and hit just a single 20 here to leave tops. 100. And hope that Leonard misses three darts at the double. No, he has already. But not there. But not this time. That was dead center. He is up five to nothing in this Hit Core Indianapolis 501, and we'd like to thank our sponsor, Hit Core. Hit Core is a brand new live and on-demand streaming entertainment platform that delivers concerts, comedy, and more on your mobile device or computer. Hit Core offers up premium audio and video with your favorite artists, with new events being added all the time. Check it out at HitCore.com. It is free to sign up. And just for our viewers, HitCore is offering 20% off live tickets and video on-demand shows. Simply enter code ND20 for huge savings on premium entertainment you can enjoy anywhere 24-7. H-I-T-K-O-R dot com. Sounding better and better. I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, and look at him. Upset about an 85, a bad deflection. But JT oh. starting to zero in here. Mm -hmm. On 180 after nine, but again, soldier. Oh, you could tell he was looking. He was looking. Not on my throw. <laughs> Needs to find the trouble. One Does find the trouble. Leonard, Great last. How aggressive is uh, Leonard going to be here? He is going to be aggressive. He was almost surprised he didn't hit the treble on the first dart because he's been hitting it every time on the two dart yeah, combinations. The, the, the stank face after the single 18. Oh, two eights. Cleans it up. Look at that. 94 finish to continue the whitewash. He is up six to nothing. JT would love to get one leg on the board. And a 140 start will help that. Love to see it from this guy, though. Continuing to stay in there, throw triples, focus. Doesn't look like he's throwing them away. Doesn't look like he's frustrated, even though he probably wants to push Leonard every time he's shooting. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Leonard is just as big as he looks. <laughs> Not a small human being. Former professional baseball player. 
100. Oh, looks good. Only a ton. JT having his best leg so far of the match. And, I mean, nothing that we have not seen out of him so far. He's on an 11 darter, potentially. And only 40 for Leonard's going to really open up the door for JT. The comeback's got to start here. It ha it always had to start here. He's got time, so he's going to tee it on up. Leaves 32. It's always nice to just tee it up for a potential 13 darter. And Leonard knocks on the door a little bit. I'm right here. Double eight. Oh no! So Gates for the match. Oh, and this this would be this would be very fitting. Oh, bat, poorly thrown dart. That's that's probably the the worst action that we've seen out of uh, Leonard Gates. Um, just did not look smooth. And JT does get a leg on the board. It was a hold. I would just look straight at Leonard in his, in his face and gone, not skunked. <laughs> and then moved on. <laughs> one. <laughs> you can't start the comeback if you don't win the first one. 135. And a 1-3-5 out the gates for Soldier. Here in leg number eight. The final 100. of the hit core in Napa's 501. We want to go ahead and thank real quick the American Legion post number 331 for hosting us this weekend. We will be back in September, and we cannot wait. Any place that has a ribeye steak um, deal going on yep. at a, at a, for a dart event, uh, yeah, we're, we'll come back. That yep. sounds good. No, they take care of us so well. We love being partnered with them, and we're going to be excited to be back in September. 100. Nice ton there from Soldier. JT on 302, counting correctly. Yeah, look at this. 162. Stop counting correctly. <laughs> With that last dart. Just kidding. He leaves 140. But 26, the gates, if he returns. Oh, one more. Oh. And finally, a little shake of the head there as that second dart went into the one. But Gates getting the finish on the Gates, <laughs> the, the double 13. He wins the hit core, and that was 501, the same way he won the North American Darts Championship. Double How 13. That? How about that? What what a match. What a display. <laughs> and you see JT, yeah, kind of got worked there. That, uh -oh. was, uh, that was wire to wire. A great performance from Leonard Gates. Uh, commiserations.